The human papillomavirus is not only a much talked about sexually transmitted disease, it's also widespread in the adult population. It's thought that 80% of all sexually active people have been exposed to high risk HPV at some time in their life. HPV is in the spotlight because of the link between the high risk strains and cancer. Both men and women carry it whether or not they realize it. It's really an asymptomatic infection. Most women who have HPV have absolutely no symptoms, whereas other STDs, like herpes, certainly has symptoms if there's an outbreak. The cancers most closely associated with HPV are found in women, in particular cervical cancer, which almost always stems from the virus. More and more cancers have been shown to be associated with the HPV virus. In addition to what we've always known about, which is cervical cancer, other female cancers are associated with the virus, as well as anal cancer and certain oral cancers. 65% of vaginal cancers are linked to HPV, along with 50% of vulvar cancers, 95% of anal cancers, and 60% of oropharyngeal cancers, although they may be linked to tobacco and alcohol, which is why doctors find such value in the HPV vaccine. If we prevent the transmission of the virus, then we can prevent the cancer. The vaccine is recommended for girls and boys between the ages of 9 and 12, older if someone hasn't had sexual contact. That's when the person's immunity is the strongest. So you'll have a much better response and a much better likelihood that the vaccine will take and protect the patient. Given the population's high exposure to high-risk HPV, there's no way to predict who might go on to develop cancer. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.